watching Fox 16 News at 9. Covering Russellville, Clinton, Little Rock, and all of Central Arkansas. And a Fox 16 money alert. If your phone rings today, odds are it could be one of those really annoying robocalls. Rates of these automated calls have soared this year. That's according to Umail, a company that develops robocall blocking software. In September, four and a half billion robocalls were placed nationwide, a 50% increase from the beginning of the year. Last month, almost 40% of the robocalls placed were scams. Well, this is a really, really good question. You have a chance to win the one and a half billion dollar Mega Million prize on Tuesday. Well, what do you do if you do plan on winning it all? I know I plan on winning it all. Stats show 70% of people who win the lottery lose it all. But if you do win, you'll have to learn how to protect the money, privacy, and yourself. And when you sign that ticket, leave some room above your signature because the money will likely be claimed in a trust. And always make a copy, then give, get yourself a lawyer. Being an experienced lottery lawyer who knows what he's doing or she's doing, who goes into the lottery commission with you, has your back, uh, can explain the process, and really set up your life going forward. If only one person wins Tuesday night, they will have the option of the $1.6 billion to be paid out over time or the lump sum of just a measly $904 million. I don't know. Ben Creighton, what would you do? What would you do if you won Man, one uh, I'd, I'd rather, billion? Honestly, I'd, I'd rather just take a, a little each time instead of getting it all at once, honestly. Yeah, that's smart. Then, yeah. You know, you can extend it out for a lifetime. Because I, because I, I feel like I'm the kind of person that wouldn't be responsible enough to take care of 904 million dollars all at once. Yeah, no, I definitely could. I could be responsible for that. I think, but I do I, plan I know on I winning couldn't. the entire <laughs> amount. So, Ben Creighton, if I'm not here next week. You know where I am. Oh, yeah. Winning the lottery. Well, another huge win, almost like winning the lottery. Ben Creighton here with a look at sports, and we're talking about that Razorback win yesterday, finally snapping their sixth game losing streak. Yeah, a shutout against Tulsa. Hopefully they can make it two straight next week when they go up against Vanderbilt. Of course, when not allowing a single point in a ball game, you got to give a lot of credit to the defense.